look at my boy in the suit. Hey, yo, okay, let's get started. So in terms of leveling your quirks and the order you wanna get these in, the first quirk you wanna get and the most important is gonna be your binding cloth capture. You don't wanna level this one up first, either level four or level nine. I like to get mine up to level nine because that increases my number of uses up to five uses, which is key on mobility and your attack. Next quirk you're gonna to wanna to level up and use constantly whenever you get the opportunity is your Binding Cloth Serpent. This quirk is easy to hit, it does really good damage, and it increases in size the more that you level up. So go ahead and level that bad boy up. You get the least amount of benefits from leveling up your powerhouse round, uh, your powerhouse kick barrage. So you're gonna to wanna to level that one up last. On to the pros and cons. Eraserhead's first pro is that he has amazing mobility. Now his alpha quirk isn't as good as Suyu's, or Deku's Black Whip because it has less range. Also, it forces you to do the kick at the end, which I can see messing some people up, but I got you. After you latch onto a building or a wall with your first quirk, you're just gonna follow up with a powerhouse kick and you're gonna be able to keep your mobility going. He actually has greater mobility than Suyu and Deku if you can get his range down and not miss your attacks. One of the Razorhead's cons is that he's pretty low damage overall, but you really wanna make sure you're using his attacks efficiently. For example, his Gamma skill, is very useful and it hits a wide arc. It's very easy to hit, but you always want to use it by jumping first. This is going to take away about a half second delay that if you were just to stand there and use it on the ground. Now when using his Binding Cloth, you have two different ways to use it. You have it on the ground and when you're jumping. When you're jumping, of course, you pull yourself in. When you're on the ground, you pull the enemy in to you. If you double click, you pull the enemy in immediately. If you click once, there's a delay, which allows your team some hits before you pull them in. So the delayed alpha quirk mixed in with his special action allows for great combo potential. We're gonna give that as a pro. As for his powerhouse kick, it doesn't really do good damage. So I just like to save it for mobility and use it to get around the map or use it for escape. So when playing offensively, I'd say you really wanna focus on using your ground alpha more than anything because it's less delay and a significantly less chance that you'll be punished like if you were to use your jumping alpha attack and you will pull yourself into the opponent, it's more likely you'll get attacked. Another con is the range of all the skills kind of sucks. So make sure you go into training or something and test to make sure you understand how far all of his attacks go. Senpai would never hurt you. You also want to use your jump gamma as often as you can because that is going to be your heavy damage dealer and it's super easy to hit people with it. Now Aizawa's special action is very complicated so I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. The special action has a very considerable range but it's not infinite. After doing a series of tests it seems like the special action goes slightly further than Deku's blast. I couldn't see the distance so I had to get a friend to let me know whether or not it was actually affecting Ochako or not and from this distance it does not affect Ochako at all. But if I take a few steps for it, then it will start affecting Yeah, you got it there. Aside from this, it works still mostly just like the show. As long as you have line of sight, it should affect the person. If you break that line of sight after you've gotten it, the person will still be affected as long as you don't end your special action or you blink. Another tip is that you cannot block special actions with this skill. You can only block things that are considered quirks. So for example, you cannot block Mount Ladies. Thupasize me. But it can interrupt things like All Might's Tornado or even Kendo's Shield. So it can interrupt continuous quirks, but it can't interrupt one-time activated quirks, such as Suyu's invisibility. I hate you, bitch. Now the major downside to this special action is that it is heavily inconsistent. I have so many clips and times of me using this and it's just not doing anything in actual battle. I don't know why, because in training I have no issues with it, but when I'm in an actual game, like, bro, my eyes are open. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a bug and hopefully it'll be patched soon. But still, the skill will be extremely useful in situations like Final Circle. Stupid! This high tower army yes, came sir. in. Yo, 1K subscribers is crazy. I don't even know how to describe the energy y'all got me feeling right now. I'm cheesing. You see me cheesing, bro. This is something I've been aiming for for a really long time. All I can do is say thank y'all. Thank y'all so much, bro. I tried really hard to get this video pushed out as fast as I could. On the next video, we will be doing a $50 Amazon card giveaway. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you see that next video and join that giveaway. It's gonna be a thank you to you all for this 1,000 subscribers. I heavily appreciate it. I'm gonna catch y'all later. It's your boy, HT. We out.